follow their journey, you can become as one of these. Dare to follow their example. Dare to be different from the world. Dare to become God's tool. Sarah, wife of a prophet, willingly walked through empty lands to follow God's promise. Captive by Egyptians, refused their allure of fashion or sin. Because of her loyalty to God's plan, became a woman of promise. And God said unto Abraham, I will bless her and give you a son. Yes, I will bless her. She shall be a mother of nations. Kings of people shall be of her. Ruth, all family, all male family were dead, including her spouse. Instructed, tempted to go home to her mother, refused to leave, rather choosing to follow the people of God. And she said, Ask me not to leave you or return from following you. For where you go, I will go. And where you live, I will live. Your people will be my people. And your God, my God. Through submission to God's plan, House of Israel was rebuilt. Her offspring gave birth to Kings David and Solomon. And put in place the lineage of Jesus Christ. Hannah, full of integrity, selfless, consistent, fervent in prayer. Because of prayer, her infertility gave way to fertility. Gave birth to Samuel, promised to give Samuel to God's service all the days of his life. Faithful to that promise, she said, Oh my Lord, I am the woman that stood here praying. For this child I pray, and the Lord has given me my request. My soul does magnify the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God, my Savior.
God with us. The scene goes to yet another Mary. This Mary represents all the Marys in the New Testament. Mary, the sister of Lazarus, a faithful follower of Jesus Christ. Mary, who demonstrated loyalty to him. Mary, who is there when Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. 
Mary, who washed his feet with her tears and dried them with her hair. Mary, who early one morning described defied Jesus risen from the dead. Watch as this representation of the New Testament Mary also reflects the many miracles of Jesus Christ.
a humble Jewish girl who was taken away from her people and then held captive by King Ahasuerus. She later becomes the king's wife. Haman, an evil man, sought to kill Esther's people. The cry of her people went up before God. Esther and the Jews fasted, prayed, and wore sackcloth and ashes to begging God to come to their assistance. Esther responded to God's perfect plan. She was to go before the king and ask for his mercy toward her people. Doing so, she risked losing her own life. But in spite of that, she said, If I perish, I perish. Who knows, Esther, whether you are come to the kingdom for such a time as this.
the enemy meant for harm. God gave Esther the strength and the courage to bravely be an instrument for God's glory. You too can take back the things that Satan has tried to steal from you. You can also be a tool to create godly history and personal victory. Yeah. 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 Yeah.